Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know what you're thinking. What kind of filthy Kmart nugget have you got for us this time? And I'm going to tell you that I do not respect your allegations at all, and I clinically and wholeheartedly deny them. This is a reject shop nugget. Have a look at this thing, looking like a freaking alien blaster or something. Um, so I've got to hand it to them. Quite nice packaging. I like the fact you get that little window. Um, you know, if I was a little kid getting this, I'd be like, wow, mom, this must cost you like thousands of dollars. So, you know, I quite, I quite think that's a cool little touch to it. Uh, once we open her up, we'll have a look at, better look at the mouse inside. Um, comes with a little manual, and that's about it. And the mouse itself. Uh, so once we pull it out, we'll have a listen to the, uh, how the mouse sounds. And as you can see, it doesn't sound that bad. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't sound cheap, like... These buttons here, they sound very cheap, um, but the actual ones that you use, everything else feels pretty normal and about on par with what you get from like a HP mouse or just something like you'd use. And look at that gaming mouse, so you know what it's for. It's hardcore gaming, no homework allowed. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's got like a bit of a weird mold to it, so it kind of expects you to hold it like a guitar. And we're comparing this to my um, Talon X. Uh, which is a budget gaming uh, microphone. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how long it takes to set this up first. So it actually has quite a nice braided cable on it. Uh, it's, it's saying that it has seven working buttons. Um, and it's just plug and play. So let's have a look at that. Let's put that to the test right now. And uh, actually between the two, I'd say the braided cable on this $12 uh, mice or mouse or whatever it is um, is a lot better than the one on the um, Talon X maybe it's because the Talon X is a couple of years old now but yeah it does actually feel quite nice so we just plug it into the back of my little um, some show no go PC <laughs> I copped for a, um, uh, a high high price of $250 Australian from some weird little market refurbished and it just works like by the time you connect it to the time you put your hand on the and the mouse it's already working so you just give a little test through there left click works um yeah let me drag which is great everything's all sensitive uh as, as you need it to be for when you're just doing general stuff as far as actual gaming on this thing you know, like i wouldn't i wouldn't advise it in the competitive sense but you know then we have a look at the back and the forward uh buttons um, and I think the, we had a look at the double click button for here as well, uh, which is great. So we have a look here, I click straight on the video, one click with the double click button. That's actually working. So no lie there. Tested it again, worked perfectly. So let's have a look at the old Google Chrome Internet Explorer doohickey. Okay, next we, uh, test the, um, the back and forward buttons here. Just quickly type in WWE, uh, just because you used to watch it a lot as a kid, just quick to type in. And when you see it go back to the home page, that's when I press the button, back, forward, back, forward. So now that we know that that works, let's go test the DPI. Okay, so this thing is quoting about um, 2400 DPI on the packaging, and it's saying that you can actually adjust it from 800 in little intervals, from like 400 DPI intervals. So if it's too fast for you, you just can't handle that pure reject shop goodness then you can actually turn it down because you know it's gonna be too crazy too hard to handle so um after i turn off the um enhanced uh sort of mouse settings which kind of help it out a little bit um we go to the mouse sensitivity website um, and test the dpi so i'm going to be honest with you guys here i've never actually done this before so i've just gone completely off a um a quick little thing that I saw on YouTube myself. So type one in there, drag it to the right, and then you, once you drag it all the way across, you're getting your true DPI. Um, so it looks like it's about 1300, which is about half of what it said it was. Um, now we're going to try it with the Big Daddy um, Talon. And yeah, it's about the same. So I'm just wondering if... Um, this is like just a standard sort of thing. So 
the fact that it's holding its own with this much more expensive, uh, about four times the price, four and a half times the price maybe, um, mouse is, is pretty respectable. So look, I would probably say I'm pretty impressed with that. <laughs> but yeah, that's, um, so we go through and test it quite a few times. And yeah, again, the back and forward button is still working as soon as you plug it in. Um, so yeah, can't really complain about that either. Alright, last little bit is apparently if you click the DPI button, it'll actually change the DPI. Tried this a few times, no results. Look, overall I'm still pretty impressed. I give this product about 4 out of 5 stars.